Okay, let's pray. We put our hands together. We're going to close our eyes. Everyone closing their eyes? Good, Ari? All right. Let's close your eyes. Let's pray. Hey, you worry about yourself, okay? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for gathering the children here. I pray, Lord, uh, that the story will be interesting to them today as we learn about the Apostle Paul. Uh, help them, Lord, to think about the story today and how they can apply it in their own lives. And thank you, Lord, for all the children here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very good. Whoa, questions, questions. <laughs> Who knows somebody, does anyone know somebody that doesn't like God? You know somebody, Simon? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there are people out there that don't like God, do they? They don't want anything to do with God. In fact, they don't even like people. Just put your hand down, son. They don't even like people that believe in God. And we're going to learn about a story about somebody who today, who at one point in their life didn't like, you know, people who were trying to worship Jesus. And he was actually doing really mean things to them. His name was Paul. So the Bible talks about him worshipping God ignorantly. He was doing it ignorantly. Some things where he thought he was worshipping the true God, but he had the wrong God at one point, and he was actually persecuting people who were following Jesus. Jesus appears to Paul. Now, who knows? Does anybody know? Noah, excuse me, come back and sit down. Come on, come back. Where are you going? Come on, come sit down. Whoa, sit down. Good girl. Okay, who knows? what Paul's name was before his name was Paul. Does anyone know? Sarah, do you know? Yes, say it louder. Saul, very good. <laughs> very easy, it's just one letter different. So before he was Paul, his name was Saul. We don't really know why his name was changed to Paul, but in the in book of Acts, one day, one chapter, he started being referred to as Paul. He says Saul, who is also named Paul. And from then onwards, he was referred to as Paul. So we know him as the Apostle Paul. But before he was Paul, he was a Pharisee named Saul. Well, the story starts. Who knows who this is? Anyone know? His name also starts with S. Do you know, Abel? No, that's not Jesus. But it's very close, isn't it? Because Jesus... He died for our sins. We learned about this. But this is after Jesus has risen from the dead. This is somebody else. His name is, do you know? Simon? No. This is Stephen. Stephen. One of the first martyrs in the Bible. Where he was stoned. He was preaching the gospel. And then he got stoned here. But today we're learning about this man. What was his name? Who remembers? Simon. Saul. Saul. That's right. Because this is before he was Paul. Here he is watching Stephen get stoned and they laid his clothes down here. Their clothes, the people that were stoning him, put his clothes down at Saul's feet. And what is Saul doing? He's thinking, good. He was consenting to Stephen's death. Even though he wasn't the one that stoned him, take, took part in the stoning, he was consenting for these people, killing a man of God, preaching the gospel. What a terrible thing. And you know Saul, he hated Christians so much that he went to the chief priest. He got letters giving him authority that if he found any Christians, he could gather them up and he could throw them into jail. And he could find them, put them into jail. That's how much he wanted to persecute Christians. So he had letters from the chief priest where he could travel up to Damascus looking for Christians, looking for people that worship. Jesus Christ. But what happens on the road to Damascus, on the way to Damascus? Does anyone know the story? Simon knows the story. Timothy, you know the story? Yes, very good. So he's on his way looking for people to persecute who are following Jesus. People like us following Jesus. You know, they're not doing, not hurting anybody, but they don't like that they are worshipping the Lord Jesus Christ and a bright light 
shines round about and is Jesus. Jesus appears, like we're learning to say, Jesus appears to Paul. And you know what Jesus says to him? He says, Saul, because remember his name was Saul. He says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? He says, why are you hurting my people? And look at what he says to him. He's like, he says here in Acts 9, 5, and he said, who art thou, Lord? He's saying, who are you? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. So what is this talking about? Because something in his conscience was telling him he was doing the right, wrong thing. But he was so zealous about persecuting Christians. He wasn't listening to his conscience. And when the light disappeared, what happened? He was blind couldn't see anymore. And these men that were with him, they heard somebody speaking, but they didn't know what he was actually saying to Saul. So they didn't hear what, what Jesus had said to Saul, but they heard somebody speaking. And then when the light went away, Paul was blind. So his men, and they went to the city, they had to go and lead him by the hand. Because he was like blind, he couldn't see. Into the city, and then for three days he was praying, he didn't eat anything. He was fasting and praying. How many days? Three, that's right. Three days Saul was blind. Now this man's name, and this is just a drawing of him obviously, drawing, we don't know exactly what he looked like. This man's name is Ananias. Can you say that? Ananias. Ananias. We have Saul, Ananias. So Jesus comes to Ananias and says, Saul, you're going to go to this man Saul. He's staying in somebody's place, right? And you're going to help heal him from his blindness. And Ananias says to him, Saul, you know, Saul was killing Christians and putting them in jail. Imagine if God told you to go see somebody who was killing Christians. What would you think? You'd think, is God told that he wants me to go see this? So this is what Ananias says to God. He says, Lord, isn't this the one that has authority to bind up Christians and throw them in jail? He's the one that's persecuting us. And you know what God says about Saul? He says, hey, he's a chosen vessel for me. He's going to do great things for me. I've sent him to be a preacher to the Gentiles, to be a light to the Gentiles. So, it says here, Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man, look at this, how much evil, see this bad stuff he's doing, how much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. Because remember he came from Jerusalem to Damascus. Right? To Damascus. So Ananias goes to see Saul and he says, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And immediately, like scales off his eyes, he could see. So he was called upon the Lord, he was baptized and he was given something to eat. So after he was eating, you see he is eating with Ananias, having something to eat. He's happy now and he realizes the truth. And then what did he do? What did he do after that? Who knows? Simon, do you know? Yeah, then he, is, he was an apostle, that's right. But after he got healed from his blindness, what did he then do? Very good. See, he got saved, and what did he do immediately? He started preaching the gospel. Once he realized that Jesus was the Son of God, he went into the synagogues and he started preaching to people. Jesus is the Son of God. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine somebody who was hating on Christians so much, he was trying to kill them? Isn't it amazing that an enemy of God now was serving God? See, so God was using Paul here as an example, that no matter what terrible things you've done in your life, God can still use you to do great things, just like here. Use him to preach the gospel, get many people saved. Now... He's preaching the gospel. Eyes up here, guys. Eyes up here. Do you think people were happy with that? 
There's a lot of people that weren't happy with that. These people, not happy, because they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. They didn't like Paul telling them from the scriptures that Jesus Christ was Lord. And you can see here, but Saul increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that this is very Christ. So you see how he's preaching the gospel here? And look at what's happening here. Whoa, what are these guys doing? They were so upset with Paul that they were outside the city and were waiting for him to come out so they could get him because they were so angry with what he was teaching. So you know what Paul did? Instead of just going out the front door, Remember, he was put in a basket and they lowered him down the wall <laughs> to sneak away. And this is the beginning of many other journeys that Paul had. I won't go through all the different stories. There are a lot of stories where Paul went preaching the gospel, getting into jail himself now. You know, and they were singing in jail and God caused a miracle and all the jail cells opened and that's a story there. And there's all, when we read through the book of Acts, we read about a lot of Paul's stories as he's going and preaching the gospel. Okay, so isn't it amazing? So what we want to learn here today is that God can use even somebody that was an enemy to use to preach the gospel. And that's something we've got to do. Once we know about Jesus, we've got to be like Paul. We've got to tell others about Jesus, don't we? Okay, questions. See if you're paying attention. Who remembers what was Paul's name before his name was Paul? Who remembers? It starts with an S and it sounds like Paul. No, try again. Okay, go. Saul. Saul. Very good. Saul. Do we remember who Saul was watching get stoned? What was his name? His name was also with S. Stephen, very good. And who knows the city that Saul was walking to when he met Jesus? Damascus, <laughs> very good. You had it there? Damascus. And let's see, one more question. Who remembers how many days when Paul, Paul was blinded, went into the city? For how many days didn't he eat or drink? Who remembers? Three. Very good, Abel. Very good. So today, we've got a craft. I'm glad you guys were very listening and sitting quietly. Thank you very much. Uh, so today, Philip has got a craft. It's going to be something to do with the bright light shining. Oh, there we go. How does this work? Oh, it's a lamp. Oh, there you go. Cool. Look at that. So just like Jesus, you know when Jesus came... And it was a really bright light. And it says here, Jesus says here, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. What do we got here? We got a little lamp. All right. Kind of like how we sang this morning. Oil in my lamp, keep me burning. All right. Let's stand up. We'll go to the back. We're going to make one of these. 